Hi everyone, today we are going to investigate what happens when you have a hole in the bedrock in 117 and then upgrade it well to 118. And for this example, we are going to use the bottom hole because that's a good example a lot of people have probably seen. Now we can't actually get the actual bottom hole. So we're just gonna load up the Hermitcraft Season 8 seed and find the approximate location of where it would be. We've got the seed in the seed map here and lined up where we're gonna make a hole with the edge of slime chunk here. Because we know the bottom hole intersects with Impulse's slime farm. So it's a good estimate of where to place it. So we're gonna dig the hole right down here and load it up in yeah, 118, pre release 7, and see what happens. So now we have this hole to the void. We're going to sit here, load up pre-release 7, and see what it does with this. In the release notes for pre-release 5, it says that if there is any bedrock at height 0 in a chunk, new world generation will happen under any non-air block at height 0 in that chunk. Which should mean that we get a hole straight through to the void underneath the actual bedrock hole, but the rest of the chunk still generates. We shall see if that's what we observe. And here we are in pre-release 7. speed this bit up a bit because it takes a while to load. And this is what we get. There's the hole right through to the void. And it looks like everything has generated around the hole except for that one bit there. For a geode has generated out into it a bit. That's interesting. So this is in line with what we expected from the patch notes for the pre-release. Now there is a 50% chance that I have chosen the wrong location to test this. So it might not actually line up with a geode. It might have been the other double slime chunk where the bottom hole is located. But it was a good guess. I tried. Thanks for stopping by everyone. See you next time. Have fun with any experiments you conduct. <laughs>